All right, folks, this is part two of my 2011 Marvel Universe vlog slash mini review. Uh, but before we begin, uh, I missed out uh, a size comparison for part one, the Marvel Universe three-pack classic Avengers. Uh, I had mentioned that the Ant-Man, or Henry Pym figure, was a lot smaller than the yellow jacket with Ant-Man Marvel Universe hammer file figure and rightly so if you can just put them side by side even without taking them out of the packaging you'll know that the hammer files ant-man is way bigger uh, than the than this one and is perhaps more in scale with the wasp and i think they did this because they had to get a figure that could mount an ant and that the amount of plastic would just cost this much just to fit their budget and whatnot, but uh, it's a shame, you know. They tried to squeeze in uh, the figure for whatever cost they had instead of just trying to please the fans. But anyway, uh, so that's that. All right, uh, this are uh, with these are the new figures for the second wave of the uh, 2011 Series Three. Marvel Universe figures. The Series 3 meaning that they are the new S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Steve Rogers uh, files or Steve Rogers Marvel Universe series. And these are by far I think the next hardest uh, figures to come by uh, after the uh, I think the hardest is still the Archangel Wave, the Hammer Files uh, a series, a series two with, with the Archangel, the AM Soldier, Kitty Pride, uh, Colossus. That that wave was like very difficult to get on retail. But anyway, equally difficult are these, and I'm sure. Well, at least here in Manila, uh, and I'm pretty sure you know. Though for those of you in North America and Canada and uh, the U.S., I'm sure you have plenty of these guys including the variant cable. We didn't get the Hope variant, uh, but uh, this is what we have. So, uh, first off, I'd like to say, give out a bit of a rant to Hasbro in, in saying that why do you make these figures difficult to get? I, I just don't get it. Uh, I wish they, they could have stocked this more. Second, the case assortment, a case of 12, will give you Two of the first appearance Wolverine, two gladiators, one cable, one cyclops, two apocalypses, uh, one Spider Woman, one World War Hulk, uh, one Spider Man 2099, and one Iron Man modular armor Iron Man. Uh, I have no idea why that's the case assortment, but given the fact that these two figures are so much in demand, I would think that they would have two of each instead of giving two Wolverines and two Gladiators. I mean, come on, Hasbro. Did they honestly believe that fans are just going to go gaga over these two figures and actually buy them more than these two? And fine, some may reason that they wanted to up the value of these figures, try to make them rare, but why would you do that? If you are Hasbro, if you're a money-making company, and you know that fans are going to gun for these three figures more than these two, it's just good business sense to make more of them because they're just going to pick. There's going to be scalper bait, and if you make more of them, a lot of people will be more. A lot of people will be happier. You get more purchases, and frankly speaking, these two figures are just. Well, this one is okay. He's acceptable. But you'll only buy him if you are a big X-Men fan. If you have no idea who, the, who Gladiator is, you'll probably pass up on this figure. And then this guy. I mean, come on, Hasbro. Did you honestly believe people are going to go buy this figure? It is just a repack. The body is just a repack of an X-Men Origins Wolverine figure with a new head sculpt. I mean, they even use the, the claws that are still stuck together. I mean, come on. Seriously. I'm, I'm dead. I'm, I'm, it's not even funny anymore. Did people at Hasbro actually think this figure is going to sell? Was literally going to fly off shelves? I mean, 
had they made the assortment to contain only one gladiator and one first appearance Wolverine, try to make the crappier figures rare, quote unquote rare, then they would probably have a better chance of selling these figures. Because as it is, you know, even if Apocalypse is two in a pack, people are still buying him up. So, I don't know. I don't work for Hasbro. They probably have cost issues and whatnot. So, anyway, so let's, let's do away with these two. Um, this one, these two. Oh, okay, before we... Sorry, sorry. Um, Out-of-box reviews are doubtful for these two because I, I think the only thing this guy has great paint apps but as it is he's just using the uh, Captain Britain mold and uh, nice cape nice head sculpt the only really good thing going for these two figures is that they have great packaging they look great in package and uh, that's probably how they're gonna stay uh, I do apologize uh, and I'm really frustrated with the Wolverine and I'm sure a lot of you can already guess how that review is going to turn out. Now, these two are the rarest, uh, primarily because there's just one in, of each in each case of 12. And uh, they look great in package. And uh, this one in particular, I don't think I will be reviewing him anytime soon out of package because he's just so darn difficult to get and he's the most sought after in the wave. Same is true for this figure. So I do apologize. Unless I can get doubles, no out-of-package review. Uh, let's just pray I get doubles of, of each of these figures. Uh, just a side note on this one. This is the Jim Lee Cyclops. So if you're a big fan of Jim Lee, and you've already gotten some of the previously released figures of, that were inspired by the artwork of Jim Lee, then they'll look great together. Uh, the Colossus figure, I'm not sure if it's a Jim Lee-inspired figure, it's just a generic Colossus, but these three, I'm pretty sure, were inspired by Jim Lee's art. So I'm a big fan of Jim Lee, so I went ahead and get them, got them. Okay. <sighs> Last but not least, uh, Apocalypse. I love this figure. I mean, I love the character. Uh, and I don't know. This one, I'm really tempted to take out of packaging. Really, really t tempted to take him out. But he looks so great in packaging. Should I take him out? How many of you think I should? How many of you think I should just keep him in packaging? Oh, but it's just a great figure. I'd love to have him on the shelf. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, what the heck. I will do an out-of-packaging review of this one, a separate one, a part three of this vlog. Oh, no, just a separate review. And uh, I'll tell you what, folks. We'll do a Filmmaker Mike version uh, review of this one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a separate video. I'm going to review him starting in package. We're going to open him up since I'm sure a lot of you have been asking me. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions how I keep the packaging crisp and mint looking like you've never opened it after I've opened it up so I'm going to show you how to do that yeah let's do a filmmaker Mike slash Jedi Mike review I hope he doesn't mind if you're watching Mike I hope uh, I can sort of plagiarize how you open you know, how you review your figures by opening them up from packaging so uh, stay tuned for that I will do an, an out of box review of this one starting from MISB, your mint and sealed box packaging. We'll, we'll open him up, we'll take him out, we'll review him, we'll see him for the first time together. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. I think that'll be great. So, uh, just to recap, it's a great wave. Uh, these three figures in particular, if you see them on the shelf, don't even hesitate. If you're a big X Men fan, by all means, pick these three up. If you're an Avengers fan or just a casual Marvel fan, you could care less about the X-Men, then I, I suppose you can pass them up. Uh, you can pass on these figures. But these two figures, uh, the, uh, they're okay if you're a completist. You might want to pick them up, but do not pay more than retail price for them. So there you go, folks. Uh, just a vlog mini-review of the 
Wave 2 figures of the Marvel Universe Series 3 2011. I hope this video has been insightful and informative for many of you. And I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. So there you go. Uh, the Marvel Universe uh, Wave 2 Series 3 figures. Uh, Apocalypse, Cyclops, Cable, uh, Gladiator, and the first appearance Wolverine. Thanks for watching.